So we're shaking teams. So I'm out here. Just figure I hit the old. Well, these are my, you know, old Maxima, the automatic. But they're newer than the ones that's in the manual now. So I'm gonna just clean them off, spray them up red. Y'all already know what time it is. Get them nice and pretty to go along with the radiator. Let's get it popping. All right, team. Y'all see it? Quick brush up on my automatic radiator fan, so I could put these in the manual freshly, nice and painted. Nice little touch up, nothing too crazy, but a little something to give the car that little flair. So, you yeah, already know. Um, let's go, let's get it in order. So we can install these radiator fans one time. Cause I was thinking, you know, I'll take it upstairs and I'll be able to clean it right and all of that. But you can't really see too, too much, too tough. So just clean the top and uh, the back portion in right over here. It just made that fresh. Made that super fresh. So you already know, team. I'm gonna just let these dry. Uh, now let's go and rip this other radiator fans and radiator out. Let's do it. All right, we're shaking, team. Y'all already see it, man. Let's get this shit jacked up. You know me. Safety first. Jack, jack stands. You know, that's always a plan, my man. Um, so now let's come and snatch all this shit out right quick. Uh, you know what? Let me take off this uh, splash guard. Drain out. About to come up here now, snatch off this upper radiator hose, get these bolts out, start disconnecting the uh, wiring harness for the radiator fans. Let's start swapping this shit. Let's do it. Yeah. Project. Silver Surfer 2.0 in full effect, man. Upper radiator hose out. Lower radiator hose disconnected. Just gotta go and get the bottom portion in off. Radiator fans missing. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you already know. Getting this shit going right now. Uh, so I'm about to snatch this radiator out. Call this shit a wrap. Clean up down here. Check this motor mount. See how that looks check any other these other plugs see how those look and pretty much as of right now just keep everything like everything nice and neat you know what I mean? let's make the swap let's do it so team um when you're looking at your radiator right and you're looking at your grommets like you can see how these are soft well you can't but your newer ones are going to be soft flexible and pliable right like real flexible your old ones you see how it's cracked corroded it's really brittle really hard look at that look at that damaged all around so fresher ones on deck let's go just want to point that out though go to just finished taking the radiator out right and now that I come and I look in here, it's hella rot, dog. Like, let me see if I can't slide the auto zone or advance right quick. Just take a walk right here in the plaza and go pick up some, like, anti-rust or anti-rot spray. I don't know, yo. Like, something just to spray that down. So let me go do that and leave this here. I'll be back to it. That's crazy. Wow. Well, I mean, could be worse than spots that, that it could be rotting from. So I guess, you know, ain't nothing to complain about. Yeah, so just in advance, oh yeah, picked up the rust barrier. Paint over rusted and bare material. Seal corrosion, impact resistant, flexible rubberized finish. That's what I'm talking about. So that should help me out with this subframe because the bottom of this joint looks like shit. So that's what we're doing. Welcome back. Welcome back. Made it back. Whew, parking lot was packed. So let me see if I can hit it from both angles just to make sure, you know, stand on this side, hit it from this side, then step over here, hit it from this side, just to make sure I could get both angles and get in there adequately and make sure everything cope aesthetic. Right, so I hit one side with it. It looked decent, I guess, because it's all black. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I mean, the rust over there compared to like, it looks rubberized. I don't know. Looks much better though. Let me get in there and get in the grooves. All right, so got it all, I guess, covered for the most part. Um, see, you know, how it comes out. 
give it uh, 15, 20 minutes to dry. And then let's slap the radiator in here. I'm about to do this other half and call this shit a wrap, but just to show you how the difference. Oh. Flying away on me, but yeah, that's it. The lineup is real. Let's see what we got shaking. Let's get it installed, team. Y'all already know Mishimoto radiator hoses, uh, upper and lower Mishimoto aluminum radiator. Let's go. Coming right along, baby. Zip tie this wire because this should look so sus just hanging right here. We zip tie that, make sure that's secure, and yeah, we can move forward. Everything coming together though. Got it down, got it down, down bottom. Yeah, we lined up. Oh man, beautiful thing about having like an identical car when you're ready to swap shit. Like, I swap my whole cooling jug because I don't know. This jug over here, this shit look suspect. shit here i don't know if this shit had coolant in it for like a fucking thousand years but see that green gob on the side nah bro definitely not putting that shit or no coolant in that shit super dog see i can see that all the way at the bottom right that discoloration at the bottom chill homie chill i definitely wash that shit out for a later time of day but right now we on to a further swap so that shit just stay over here for right now shabba Take some of the other caps, just so I don't gotta worry about paying them shits red like that. Hold on. Yeah, see, so it's a nice slow grind. I mean, already made a YouTube video of it, so just giving y'all little snippets as I go, keeping everything in here. Um, yeah, y'all already know. You know, fans came out kind of dope, way better than I expected on such short notice. Like, definitely dope. This damn radiator, man, put up a little struggle. You see the red right there, damn man, chip some of my paint. Damn it, a little upset. But everything all good though. Got everything, everything copacetic. Let's uh, take our time screwing these screws in one by one and uh, lock it down so we could throw this upper radiator hose on here and make sure we're good, you know. Bust out my little contraption. Y'all see it in a minute. Set to go. Got my cap just so uh, we can get all the air out the system. Let's go. So, just letting it run, still getting some of that air out, as you see, still getting some bubbles. I'm trying to wait till this uh, gives me its first cycles of turning the fans on, um, but, yo, know, I guess it's just getting all the air out, and it'll kick on in a few. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's the contraption right there, you know. I'll put y'all on. Y'all let me know. Drop a comment in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you want me to make a video on how to make one of these. Real simple. Real light. Light setup. But to get the job done, though. Get all the air out. That's what I'm talking about. So now what I did, team, is I'm pretty much opening up the heater core. So now we can really get all the air the system i'm gonna try and hold it at 25 to 3000 rpms So 
so just to finish it up let's do the visual inspection make sure everything is copacetic everything looks good i don't see any leaks besides from when i put a little too much cool that up right now and then double check in a sec So now uh, I've got the car lowered, regular. regular. Uh, I'm going to just wait for the cooling and stuff to cool down. Give it like 15, 10, 15 minutes. Let that cool down. Then I'll do the swap on taking my radiator cap off here because it has the nail under it that keeps this part down like that. Um, and then I'm going to put the gauge one back on here. Throw the nozzle in there. Call it a wrap team to go take this shit for a test run and see how I really feel feel you know boom team done deal y'all see it coming together slowly but surely I know y'all see it boom boom yeah everything good locked down got no leaks double check twice no leaks um I'm just ready to get this shit a run and see See how we looking. See what's the good word. Got enough coolant. Put a, a little bit extra just in case, you know, take some out of the overflow tank. Um, and yeah, good to go, team. You already know your boy Servi, aka that OG. Like, share, comment. Already hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what it is, team. My man here giving y'all the complete swap. I'm trying to keep y'all on a daily vlog on how I'm doing. Already know, man. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go.